Hallo Leute, herzlich willkommen bei HRV. Ich komme aus Budapest, Ungarn und mache Stadionvlogs auf Englisch. Ich wünsche euch viel Spaß. Hello again guys, this is HFV here and we are now in Nuremberg, Germany. The city's native name is Nuremberg and its most famous club is Erster FC Nuremberg who will take on FC Schalke 04 in today's game. It's the German second division, the Zweite Bundesliga and it's round 34, the very last round of this season's championship. Quick glance on the league table. We see that today's away side Schalke 04 is surely promoted. The first two teams get an automatic promotion spot to the German first division and the third has to play relegation playoffs. And Schalke is surely promoted, but they can be champions today. So if they, for example, lose and the second place team, Werder Bremen, wins at the same time, then they are going to be second. So it, this game still matters to them even though they are already promoted. The home team FC Nuremberg or Elster FC Nuremberg, they are seventh on the table currently and they can move up one spot. But what's sure that they are going to start next year's season in the German second division. It was a quite big scandal last year when Schalke 04 got relegated from the German first division after spending 30 seasons there and they really weakly finished last place. But now they are surely back in next year's Bundesliga where they should be as well as a traditional club. I'll tell you a bit about the idea, how I got this idea to, to visit Elsa FC Nuremberg while they have a friendship with uh, IFK Gothenburg. I visited already three times in Sweden. So uh, one of the Nuremberg fans saw my, one of my videos from uh, Gothenburg and he invited me and um, I always take these invitations. So now I'm here in Nuremberg to visit Gothenburg friends. And at the same time, they have a really close friendship to today's opposition, Schalke and Null Fier. So there are not going to be any fights because this is, well, this is arguably the closest friendship between Nuremberg and Schalke and Null Fier in the German football culture. These two big clubs used to meet each other in the Bundesliga, the German first division, the first tier. Mainly we can see the last 10 meetings on screen and we see there six Schalke victories, two draws and two Nuremberg victories. And now today's venue, the stadium of Nuremberg, it's named after one of their legends who scored in the 1954 World Cup final against my country, Hungary. By the way, uh, it's Max Morlock Stadion and it has a domestic capacity of 50,000 people and a continental, so European uh, match capacity of 44,308 people. And one more thing before we go to the stadium, I arrived in the city a few hours ago by train. I was filming in Essen yesterday at a match of Rotweiss Essen, who are, by the way, great rivals of uh, Schalke 04 today's away side. Anyway, you can find that stadium vlog in the description. I think it might be still interesting for you. So I was arriving by train and I met quite many fans there and made an interview as well with two guys, two fans of the two respective clubs. Let's look at that. Fans of both clubs here, guys. I'm going to ask some questions in German. So, was sagst du zum Aufstieg als Schalke-Fan? Ja, war sehr wichtig, dass wir aufgestiegen sind. Hätten wir zu lange nicht gedacht. Aber trotzdem über die ganze Saison dann doch noch ganz gut gespielt. Und dann haben wir es geschafft. Und jetzt ist halt Party pur. Nürnberg war halt auch nah. Aber trotzdem, zweite Bundesliga nächste Saison. Was sagst du dazu? Ja, ich finde, wir haben eine coole Entwicklung gemacht. Aber ähm, nächstes Jahr müssen wir den nächsten Schritt gehen und so. Und das ist auf jeden Fall ein wichtiges Zeichen, dass wir mit dem Trainer verlängert haben. Und ich glaube, nächstes Jahr ist für uns vielleicht auch der Aufstieg drin. Er erzählt uns ein bisschen vom Freundschaft zwischen FCN und, und S04. Ja, ich finde, das ist eine richtig geile Sache. Das ist ähm, einmalig. Das gibt es in Deutschland einfach nicht. Oder generell weltweit. Das ist eine super Sache. Alle feiern zusammen und wirklich eine tolle Sache. Wir waren schon ein paar Mal da, als Schalke Nürnberg gespielt hat. Das ist eigentlich immer geil. Auch die Choreografie am Anfang. Also kann man sich immer mal gerne anschauen. Parking lot here. Look at this big street leading up to the stadium. It's so cool. It has its vibe, you know. Really like it. 
some 20th century reminders here and now we arrived at the classic Max Morlock Stadion. Here we are guys with the man who invited me. Thanks a lot once more. Tell us a bit about the club, what it really means to you to be a fan of SFT Nürnberg. Yeah, SFT Nürnberg means a lot to me. I mean, it's I'm a fan of this club since I'm a small child. It's like passion and yeah, I really love that, that we are not like a club who still, or let's say, just plays in the front and the top, like we are playing first league, second league, that, that makes up for the club here and I really enjoy that here and yeah, it's amazing. Do you have a score prediction for today? Uh, I guess it's going to be tight, but uh, maybe, let's say, Schalke will win that, that game, uh, let's say 1-2 for Schalke. Another thing about us personally is that your grandparents are from Hungary, right? Is that the my country? So they were a supporter of, of my club, Ferenc Varos, back in Budapest. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. They 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 are fans of Ferenc Varos since they are yeah, also small child, and yeah, they invited me once, and I I went to the stadium, Group Ama Arena, and it was amazing, amazing experience. So, well, we were chatting for quite some time per WhatsApp, so now we have presents for each other. Uh, can you show it? This is an ultra scarf of, of my team. And guys, we got a uh, Nuremberg scarf as well. So, thanks a lot and enjoy the match and thanks for the interview. Yeah, no worries. Welcome. The other side of the stadium now, you can see its name there and the classic floodlights. We will need uh, Sector 20 to get inside, but it looks quite slow now. Look at me now, guys. I can use the scarf I got as a present perfectly uh, because of the sun. I mean, we're standing here for at least 15 minutes and the queue doesn't really move. So it's a really bad entering system. Look at this. Nobody's moving there. Nobody's moving. Really slow. Oh, horrible, guys. We're close to salvation now, but <laughs> look at this. It's ridiculous. How they, how people can enter here. Leute, das war lächerlich, furchtbar. Was für ein System. So we're inside now. <laughs> that was the hell in the background. Max Wallach starting here once more. And now we're going to search for section number 20. Oh, finally! I hardly believe. Up the stairs. And you'll see something wonderful, I'm sure. Ooh, some tall stadium vibe here in the background. And now the time has come. We'll enter Max Wallach Stadion in this second. <laughs> On our place. We have last row and it's unreal how cool it is. I mean, we don't see the, the stands on the other side. We have a perfect view on the away section and the home section with the ultras, like from above. So if there are limbs, it's almost the best view. Looking out of the window, this is what we see from perfectly above.
the team which could be German second division champion today. With a win for be sure. And the match is on the way. Schalke in white and light blue. Nürnberg in that traditional dark red colors. Watching the match from here is a bit like playing FIFA, you know. It's really so far small players. It's really, really cool. The perfect view on the pitch. Nürnberg attacks on the right side. Really big chance. So close. First big chance of the match. End of the third minute. It was really close. and impotent play from Nuremberg, the home team in this first half, except the, those shots from, uh, from the free kicks, they didn't have many chance. And it was a clever move from Schalke in the 16th minute. I couldn't record the shot itself, but the ball flying, so I hope you could still enjoy that. Uh, a clever move, but otherwise they don't bring so much uh, power into to this match either, so much energy. Uh, we have about 30 degrees here, and the sun here, the match started at half past three, so, uh, well, they're quite exhausted, I bet, because it's the end of the season as well. Anyway, uh, hoping for a, a bit better quality play in the second half. Uh, and if, if Nuremberg doesn't get something like really more push or some more energy, more motivation, there is no chance they will score any goals because uh, Schalke is very, way better than that. We'll see about that. Let's start the second half. Schalke fans are much closer. Schalke has died. That's 
a chance, stand up if you are a shark at hand. That's what it means. Shot blocked, they get it back. Decent chance now. A wonderful tackle. But bad pass after it. They make quite the noise. Should be something now for Nürnberg. Deflection. Ooh! I hit the bar. 50,000 Looks like it's full house Maybe there are a few empty seats around me here But official number is this Schalke corner Just over the bar A lot of corners for Nuremberg today I knew it, I needed to say one thing that they won't score and they did. Come on, the match needed this goal.
elsewhere. Oh, it's 1-3. Hamburg is going to get the promotion playoff spot, which everybody was hoping against in the stadium. But not me personally, to be honest, because they're a great team. We should be now back in the first division after spending four seasons in the second. Das ist Stimmung, Leute. Nach Spielzeit 5 Minuten. We have 5 additional minutes. Corner for Schalke taken short. Cross. Keep us both. German football culture for you guys. This is why I came. This is not an everyday chance, guys. Getting onto the pitch of Max Morlock Stadion, a 50,000 capacity stadium. Let's just leave the dream here. Whew. Oh my God. This is how it looks from the player point of view. Oh, amazing. All these players are so lucky to experience anything like this, playing on a pitch like this. This is insane. Sehr stark, Leute, einzigartig. Musste man probieren einfach. The second Bundesliga trophy is lifted. Here in like 30 meters in front of us. Oh guys, we're taking some part of the pitch home. Life of memory here in front of us. Two goals were scored into this net today and the fans are thinking really hard about taking some parts of the goal home. The advantage of a pitch invasion is that you can move to almost any part of the stadium. So we are moving now closer to the team.
an all-inclusive football experience today with great atmosphere, a goal from 60 meters from the own half of, of Schalke. We had pitch invasion, title celebration, just everything in itself. Yeah, the Bundesliga season is finished. The second division table we see on the left side of the screen. Schalke wins the league. They've been given the trophy. Well, it's not called the classic. It's it's a plate, not a trophy technically. Anyway, and uh, Werder Bremen is second and they are automatically promoted with this as well. And as third, Hamburg, they will play a relegation playoff or promotion for them, promotion playoff against Hertha Berlin. We'll see about that. So goodbye guys, I was HFV. Congratulations to Schalke 04. Glückwunsch Leute, wir sehen uns nächstes Mal. Tschüss. Oh, 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 oh,